We're going to talk about organizing your work with Adobe Photoshop Sketch, a very versatile painting app that's available for all kinds of devices, Android and Apple. I'm using an original iPad Pro with a first edition Apple Pencil or our regular inexpensive rubber tip stylus. When you eventually get a lot of work collected, it's good to organize your work sometimes by groups. And if you do this later, believe me, this took me three years to find out, if you do it later, it's quite tedious. So for instance, when I take it to life drawing, I like to put all those life drawing days sessions into one folder named for that day. So getting smarter as I move along, this is how I would do it now. I would start a new project. Maybe uh, because my models are going to be vertical, I'm going to maybe start with the iPad Pro portrait layout. I'm just going to close this right now and open it up again. There. And I'm going to rename it. March 10th, 2019. Done. I like to start with a colored sheet. So if I go in here and make it a tint, I just pick a color, pick a brush, pick a color on my themes of colors. I might pick this nice mid-gray. If I just hold it here, it tints my whole page gray. If I close this and I do select, duplicate the project, I want to rename this. I don't want it to have that name. So I'll just call it project. Now if I duplicate this project, now I have two of them that I want to move into here. So if I select this and close it, pick the ellipsis, select documents, choose it, and move it to 2019 March 3rd life drawing. It's going to be inside here. So when I'm inside here, select documents, Duplicate. Select documents. Duplicate. So now, inside this project, nice sheets of paper ready to start with that size and color. Ready for my life drawing session and ready with the name life drawing. So when I'm in there, I would probably start with this one, this one, and this one moving up to here, probably because that's the order goes. The, the earliest ones start here with the latest ones here. So then I would start here. I would you know, do my drawing, close it, do the next drawing, close it, etc. So that is the better way to start if you're going to do all kinds of work in one theme or one location or on one kind of format. This is definitely the smartest way to do it because later on you might find you have a lot of different projects. Sometimes it's okay to have them cluttering down. But if they're like technical information, for instance, here are samples of brushes. I want them all in one folder. They weren't created all in one day, but I want them all in one folder. Otherwise, just, just, they're just cluttering up my landscape. Because if you wait until much later, which I did, to figure this out, it takes a lot of effort to move these drawings in. For instance, here are some that all need to move into this one folder, which is 2018. March 13th. So if I select this one, select the document, select it, move to, then I have to look way down here. And then it's join this document folder. So if you can plan this ahead, you save yourself a lot of time later. So that's one thing about organizing your projects into like things. I'm Paula O'Brien. Thanks for watching.